Hello again, friends. Jen here with another at home back workout to share with you all. So, many of you have already seen the poll I created with regards to changing the name of my YouTube channel just because I thought that simply calling it Jen was boring and lacked any sparkle. But a lot of the votes have come in and most people have indicated that they do feel that calling it just Jen is plenty enough sparkle. So chances are I will leave it at that. I just thought maybe I should come up with something catchy. Uh, but anyways, so this is my workout and I started with banded pull-ups for a warm-up and then I just went into non-banded regular pull-ups. I was only able to get two sets of four with the regular ones, so it's a far cry from when I used to be able to do them weighted. But the best part about it is that I didn't have any elbow pain, uh, so that's why I had to stop doing them in the first place. So the fact that I can do all of these reps without any elbow pain means a lot more to me than the number of reps I'm getting or not being able to do them weighted anymore. I may get back there, but um, it's completely dictated by my elbow pain. I had a crazy sleep last night with really, really, just felt like I was dreaming about Miley Cyrus all night, not in a lesbian way, in like a friendship way. Uh, okay, so here, uh, I did bent over rows here, and I did try to do things uh, heavy today. I just tried to keep my rep ranges a little bit lower and really focus on doing some heavier weights. So for my bent over row, I got 100 pounds times four sets of 10. So I'm really happy with that because it stayed fairly strict the whole time. Okay, so the Miley Cyrus thing. Well, okay, so first I had a dream that I was on a date with somebody from a dating app at West Edmonton Mall. But then during the date, I forgot that I was on a date because uh, I went home and went to bed or something. Um, I don't know, that was a weird dream. Um, but anyway, so then for the rest of the night, I felt like all I was doing was dreaming about Miley Cyrus being my friend. So I was at her house and many of you know that I have reoccurring bison chasing me dreams. But this time I was at her house and in her backyard, there was a whole herd of bison. They weren't chasing me, but what was happening was there seemed to be a bale of hay or some kind of pile of something that was on fire and I was worried that the bison, the thick bison coat was going to catch on fire. So then a bison started talking to me. Um, I was like, you're going to catch on fire. And he's like, you better be careful because I'm going to, I'm going to stamp, stampede you down. You know, like the <laughs> kind of, um, hoof, uh, dirt kicking thing. I don't know. That's not at all what they sound like. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know how to make a bison noise, but in my dream, it was weird. They were talking to me. Well, just the one, like the leader. He had all the fur, but he was missing like the dark kind of fur. So you know how they have like the dark fur like around their face? It seemed like it was like a human dressed up in a bison costume or something, but I was worried he's going to catch on fire. And this was in Miley Cyrus's backyard. Um, and then we were at a football game and she sung the national anthem and it was beautiful because I do think she has a beautiful singing voice, even though I know she sounds kind of like, um, a little bit weird, like her talking voice sounds a little bit weird, but I think that, um, she's a beautiful singer. So here I did the one arm dumbbell row. This time I moved up to 50 pounds and I was able to get, uh, one set of nine and one set of eight. So I'm also happy with that. Oh, and good news. I realized that I already do have one 35 pound dumbbell. You know, my uh, predicament from the dumbbell pressing. I thought I was going to have to buy two 35 pound dumbbells. I actually already own one 35 pound dumbbell. I just hadn't used it in a while. So I already rebought another 35 pound dumbbell. I wonder if it'll get here. No, I don't think it'll get here in time for the next shoulder day. But that's okay because just doing 30s, um, I could still be not in too crazy of a high rep range. I think that'll be fine for the shoulder day. If I do 30s, mm, maybe, I think I was doing sets of 10. 
but I already tired myself out before those ones with the set of 17 at 25, so yeah, I could probably just start with 30, so maybe do three sets of 30 and maybe do sets of 12. That's not crazy high. Okay, so that'll be fine, and then the shoulder workout after that, I will have the 35s, but also too, with this 50 pound for the dumbbell rowing, I do foresee needing to get um, more here because I'm already at eights and nines, so, um, oh, and I know somebody mentioned I should get an adjustable dumbbell, and I felt, well, that's kind of late for that, I've already, <laughs> oh, that's kind of late for that, I really do like these ones, these are just, these dumbbells I just got from Amazon, they're not really that expensive, obviously the heavier ones, um, they get more expensive, but they're great, they're better than some of the ones that I've bought from actual, fitness stores like fitness avenues they have really good grip on them and you can see for the dumbbell rows i don't use my versa grips i just feel like it gets in the way and it seems like i'm not having the even distribution in the palm of my hand it like weighs down on one side i can't get it perfectly uh, oh yeah and i also did this super set i did inverted row but i think i didn't get enough of a full stretch for my first sets so i don't use my versa grips for the dumbbell row um i just use chalk and that works better but i do like the versa grips for everything else so uh yeah i didn't i don't think i got the full stretch here uh but here then i superset it with this kind of um t-bar row so i don't know does t-bar row officially have to be with that seated row cable handle or does anything constitute a t-bar row i mean this is more of a t this handle is certainly more of a t than uh then the D handle, that's a D, a D bar row. <laughs> <It's> a, <laughs> oh, nobody have ever called it that. A D bar row. That should be what that one is called. And the one I'm using here is the T bar row because it's shaped like the letter T. I did another set. I tried to do more of a stretch at the bottom for these inverted rows. Um, maybe I could have moved the bar belt up one more so I would have felt like I had more room at the bottom or something. I think that's what it was. I was hesitant to go any further because I thought I was going to touch the floor. Um, but I don't think I actually was going to. So this is my last set of the T-bar rows and I like to do the underhand grip. Um, I really like how this feels. Kind of mimics that more of a low row of that machine. Um, and I do alternate so I do one back workout a week at home. One back workout a week at the gym to do the machines like the lat pull down, the front pull down, um, and then at home I'll do more of the weighted stuff. So that's why I was trying to go a bit heavier. And this is when uh, little Luna she came to visit me, um, which was really nice. Um, lots of times nobody ever visits me, <laughs> but I do think that she thinks what I'm doing is boring because she never really wants to stay very long um she just sees oh yeah she's doing this like boring thing and is not going to pay any attention to me um so i'm just going to leave so she just buggered off <laughs> oh no she's still there she just needs to do some stretches oh she's doing stretches uh, but i do know that she really is typically quite bored with my workouts if she says good morning to me and she sees i'm doing stuff with barbell she pretty much leaves immediately Whereas when I'm in other situations, she never leaves. <laughs> so I was just doing some regular bicep curls. I really like the close grip bicep curls. And this time I also decided to do some incline since I have the bench for it now. Did some incline. I like this stretch in my bicep. Uh, so it's definitely going to stay around. Um, and uh, it didn't really give me much elbow pain. Usually I have to do hammer curls with the dumbbells or I get elbow pain. This one actually felt fine. So I think strengthening my biceps actually, I think might help my elbow pain. And this for the easy bar, I just love how this close grip um, bicep curl feels and I bring my elbows out in front and then I bring it up really high to my face like that and then try to control it somewhat when I lower it down. Um, one of my favorite uh, feels for the bicep, no elbow pain there at all. And this is a poorly filmed, a horrible angle. If that black thing was out of the way, it would have made for a much better video. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow's rest day. I've had a lot of workouts in a row. So I hope everybody has a great rest of their weekend. Bye!